sunset. Very cloudy outside of Palm Island. But beautiful, big and orange like a Halloween pumpkin moon. Because Halloween is coming up. Oh good, the winds are picking up. So we've had a good sail so far. Palm Island. Ew, winds picked up. That's great. ETA, much faster. Ew, sort of chilly.
it should be good enough. We're just gonna check the anchor where Paul is. Um, the big reef is half a mile away. We didn't want to get too close last night because it was 4 a.m. So great stop. Um, I'm excited. It looks beautiful. Clear. Paul said around 22 feet, but it might be um, getting lower. So, ready to snorkel and then do a dive maybe later. So, I'm excited. And, oh, maybe spearfishing. We can talk now. I don't have the GoPro waterproof case. So, today again, we're going to do a shark shield. The one that Paul bought me, we haven't um, we haven't tested it out like the other one. So there's two small sharks like you saw, eight are big fish. So we're gonna try to track them and see if this brand works. So yeah, I'm doing brand, Shark Show brand. <laughs> I won't tell them what one this one is yet until we associate with them. Exactly. So, I'm boiling it in hot water, hot salty water. I'll put the lid on to um, save propane, make it go faster. So, these vermicelli, love them. They're very cheap and very healthy. And I'll show you what I do with them. So, use whatever vegetables you have. Um, I don't have lettuce, so I'm using red cabbage. Um, cucumber and snow peas. What I like to do with snow peas is just cut the ends off with scissors and cut it um, in little pieces. So that's what I'm going to do now while my vermicelli, they cook really fast. So see? All of snow peas, red cabbage, cucumber that I cut. That's all I have on board. And here's my Vermicelli, probably overcooked. Um, you can make a dente, but um, colander, strainer, pour the hot water, just like pasta. Ooh, see how much that makes? Maybe, ooh, look at the steam coming out. Maybe I should have just made one. Oh, whatever you don't eat, you can save like pasta. Um, so just let it sit for a little bit. You can cool down with um, cold water, but living on the boat, we tried to be conservative, so I'll just let it... Um, breathe naturally so let's see what Paul's doing so my vermicelli crushed peanuts snow peas um, cucumber red cabbage so the super fresh coral trout Paul caught we're gonna eat the spine beautiful white meat and um, we're gonna have a traditional Vietnamese dish with fish sauce. Ew, I need to turn off. Can you turn this off? Sure what? How you <laughs> fry the fish? Oh, shallow, shallow fried oil, five millimeters of oil. Um, just throw the background in, the tail's going to crisp up with a little bit of crunch, like um, crackling. Speak louder! Like crackling the tail, it's edible, beautiful. Sustainable living out at sea and on land. Um, it's just a beautiful feeling to catch your own food. And if you're a vegetarian, um, you probably don't want to watch us kill animals. And we don't like to, but we'll do it to feed ourselves. It's called sustainable living and hunting. And we only kill what we can eat and freeze. And that's it. We're not like mass murdering the whole ocean and land and yes i've gotten a lot of um criticism 
for some of my videos because we kill beautiful animals and all creatures are beautiful. So it's what we can eat and what's legal and that's there's plenty of in the ocean and on land. So hobo simple rustic cooking. Love it. It's a beautiful feeling to be able to hunt your own food. You're self-sufficient. So if anything happens in this world, um, we can take care of ourselves. So I just love that feeling. And for all the hypocrites that eat meat and buy meat at the supermarket, unless you're a vegetarian, I can understand that, that you love life. And I love life too, but I eat meat. But for everyone that eats meat and they buy meat, think about where you're getting the meat from. Who kills the meat? Just because you didn't kill the meat doesn't mean that you're any less guilty. If you paid for the meat and you ate the meat and you don't know how it's killed, think about it. Everything that you put in your mouth, animal-wise, someone's killing it. And if you're paying for it and you're eating it, you're as guilty. So that's just my say on the people saying that it's so horrendous to be hunting and shame on us for killing a beautiful animal and eating it when our bellies are full. Um, we try not to buy as much food if we can catch it ourselves. So thank you for watching. We hook along at seven knots. I'm square on starboard reach. Heading towards Cairns. Previously it was a 36 hour journey, it now looks like it's going to be less than um, 24 hours. That can change as the wind changes. The forecast is good for the night. Yeah, so it just looks wonderful watching the, the hull rip through the water free of charge. Compliments of Mother Nature. She can be nice to you when she wants to. And then obviously rip you apart other times. All trim nicely, looking good, I'm happy with that. Six point seven average, six point three up and down on the waves, of course. Don't know how much sound comes through this casing, but it, the water lo it sounds lovely. That'll do.
Today is Tuesday, December something, beginning of um, December. So this is my newest video. We're um, at the marina at Davao City, Philippines. So this is the state the boat's at, which is pretty good. We had it on the hard um, doing extensions for a few months. So we've been here, um, I've been here since... Uh, mid-September so it's been a while so look at home that's our stuff that's the marina and today we're gonna go Vikings uh, all-you-can-eat buffet so that'll be my video to see what we're doing at this time and we'll be leaving soon hopefully 
So this is Ocean View Marina in Davao City, Philippines. And in 2015, there is um, kidnappings here. I think three or four people got kidnapped. I'm not really sure. Um, and some got beheaded. Got to move. So we're gonna go to All You Can Eat Buffet. So the All You Can Eat Buffet, Vikings. I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm starving and thirsty. Time to look at the food. Let's see what they have. Oh, pizza. Looks good. I'm gonna go to the sashimi. Oh, lechon. Crispy pork. Oh, crispy pork head. The ribs look good. Pork head, crispy pork head. Those are my ribs and my lamb. I'm going to sashimi, and it's all you can drink beer. So. Hey, sushi. <laughs> Sashimi, ooh, cheese. Just the sashimi is worth it. It's um, beer time. So he's eating dessert first, of course. Appetizer. There's lots of really good food, but of course, sashimi again. Well, let's look at the salad. Um, but I don't want to fill up my stomach. Bread. Sashimi. Dessert. Awesome food. So yeah, it's so full. Now we're gonna go shopping. After buffet, we went to SM Mall, which is huge. Starbucks coffee. Ah, oh, I'm walking up the stairs. No escalators. So just like any big malls in the States. Christmas in Davao, Philippines. Bloody scary, you can feel the floor moving. Like tremors. Is it tremors or maybe you ate so much? No, this floor is moving both upstairs and here. We're going to the market. Do you want to get any more uh, mangoes? No, I got two already yesterday. I ate one. I ate one of your mangoes. Ah! Yes. Buying fruit. Waiting for my change. Uh, salamat. Because, um, ah, even the seafood is not as plentiful. Mm, squid. Oh, um, 50 pesos for half a. Oh, okay. Okay, one kilo, so. <laughs> Ooh, red snapper. Oh, yeah, it's pretty late. Hello. <laughs> ah, no more seafood. So just different shops at night time. It's pretty late, so most of it they closed. Ah, probably the last ferry. Night time. Dark. So this is a trike. I don't know if you can see it at night time. Hello, Paul. It's so, hard to see. 
it's around 6 35 um, I dragged myself out of bed and this is what I look like uh, messy hair and stuff um, to exercise I have exercised for maybe over a month ever since my partner in the marina left for home my exercise partner and um, this is the state the boat is in not so shabby so let's go walking I should have filmed the boat when we were up in the hard um, very very messy everything like you can't even walk out here um, but we have it mostly cleaned up because we're almost ready to go outside the marina we've been here way too long maybe the boat six months me almost four months Ugh. we have the most junk on our walkway um, that's not ours so Ocean View Marina in Davao, Philippines. So walking to the stairs, I'm gonna try to do five times. I'm really out of shape. Check every day for limes. So here's a lime right now. Love these lines. These are the steps. Um, I can't remember how many steps. Good morning. Um, yes, I'm gonna try to do five times, maybe four. So let's go do it. Let's start. They're building a resort apartment here, which hasn't been finished yet. Oh, my back hurts. I hate not working out for a long time and then starting again. It's so painful mentally and physically. Oh. Here's the view. Oh, look, a bird's nest. Oh, it's empty. Yay, I'm at the top. Here's the view. I don't know if GoPro will capture that. So I only did like half of one and I have to stretch and put my water away. Look at who we have, the laggard Paul. So he's gonna try to catch up to me and he likes to run. I don't run anymore, I just walk. I just finished three stairs. I'm gonna go stretch. December 11th, 2018, we're in Davao, Philippines after cruising for Indonesia six months and Vimeo was banned in um, Indonesia because I think they considered it porn so I wasn't able to upload anything so I stopped making movies so after we got here I flew to the States for two months so we've been here pretty long and we're almost ready to go. Um, so I'm going to start doing videos again with travel videos. It's really hard to be FKK in Asia, the Philippines. So I'm just going to do travel stuff until I can get to a remote island. So stay tuned, Gypsy Christine. We're just entering Flinders Island. Beautiful. Do they? Oh.
We're going like 10.8. Only on the surf, but that's fast. I think that's the fastest I've ever sailed. We're entering Flinders. Look at how beautiful. Thank <laughs> you. 
if you like my naturist sailing travel adventure channel, Free Spirit Christine, please subscribe. Click that button. Thank you for watching.